This little video is based on Affinity Publisher and how to create the layout, that is the cover and the internal pages, the interior, for a children's book. This is a children's book template and you'll be able to use it time and time again, the cover and the interior. And it's a square book, 210 by 210 millimetres. A fairly standard size, so it should be easy for printers to work with this. What software will you need? You'll need to access Affinity Publisher and possibly Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. Either of those two for doing the designs for the interior and the design for the cover. And this tutorial really is suitable for beginner to intermediate users of the software. So let's get to it and create a picture-perfect children's book. Fantastic! Step 1. Create a new document in Affinity Publisher. You can do this by going to File, New, My Presets. I always like to create presets because that means you can come back to them at any time you like and just click on the preset and you're ready to go. Affinity Publisher can be used for print, web and interactive projects although this tutorial will cover only the print version. For this sample document I wish to create a square book 210mm by 210mm with a 10mm margin and a 10mm bleed area. So we'll start by creating a preset. You will then have a model for any further books you want to create. We'll do the same for the cover. Now with the preset window open, and you can see on the first image on the right there, is all the detail. Fill in the details as shown in this next image. Notice that the inner margin is larger than the others. That's because the printed book will have a spine, so your margin needs to be out from that inner edge a little. For the same reason, there is no inner bleed. It should be zero millimetres. When the, two books are, when the two sides are joined together with the spine, you don't need to worry about bleed or margins on the inner edge. The margin needs to be slightly bigger to move it out. Here's our document set with facing pages. For this example, I've made a square book 210 by 210 millimetres as mentioned. Now this is our primary document set up and ready for content. The interior of the book, that is. The story. There's one master page and 32 interior pages. Now 32 is a fairly standard size children's book um, story. If you look at my videos elsewhere or research on the internet, you'll find that there are some fairly standard uh, features of children's books. And if you're going to write children's books, I'd certainly advise you to look at my other videos and to find out all you can online. Now we don't want to put the cover master page in with the interior project as this cover has the spine built into it and makes the spread a different size to the interior spreads. In addition, most printers require the cover page that is back and front in a separate file. So let's now turn to the cover. Step 2. Because we want to create the cover or jacket in this exercise, we need to create another larger master page in a new document. So let's begin again with a preset. You can leave the other one open if you like. It'll just put the new preset, the new document, in a tab beside the original one. You're going to write and publish more than one book, aren't you? So you'll probably need more than one. So with the interior still open, Go to File, New and select My Presets. Fill in the details as shown. They're actually quite different to the Interior Master and give it an appropriate name. Now you'll see this one's 425mm wide. That's the back, the spine and the front of the jacket all in one file. It's in millimetres. There's only one page. It's the Master and there are no facing pages. The colour format CMYK, US web coded, include margins of 10mm and include bleed of 10mm.
Now we have a second master page preset ready to create the cover jacket. This includes the spine of 5mm. Why this size? It's a children's book of only 32 pages. That's the front of the page and the back of the page. So there are actually only a small number of physical pages. Now my spine width calculator tells me that's what I need. And you can find spine width calculators in many, many places on the internet. So let's have a look at it. Having pressed create on the preset, we now have our cover master. You can see the interior project in the other tab at the top of the screen. Now in this section, we come across the spine dimensions. There is a 5mm spine. So we've got two pages of 210mm, which gives 420 plus 5mm. So the total width here is 425. Our cover master is set to that and that's because it includes the 5mm spine. I'll show that in a moment with some guides. So I've added another two guides to match the margins of the content. This isn't necessary on a cover, but helps you to keep an eye on the position of things within the book. So let's set up the guides. Go to View, Guides Manager and Display the Guides Manager. Now you pull out the guides from the left side ruler to the positions shown here. Now you may have to click on the final position and, and adjust it manually because some of those guides are pretty close to each other and they snap to each other. But I've enlarged that panel there so you can see the, uh, you can see the measurements quite accurately. And that's all you need to do. Now finally, here's our cover master with the centre line positioned and the margin guides placed. The spine guides are showing with the centre line. The guides don't print of course, they're for your guidance. Well we now have our interior document and our cover document ready for the story and the cover that you're going to produce and happily send off to your printer. Now that part is up to you. Although I will do another tutorial on actually putting a design on a children's book cover. If you would like to see how it's all put together, you can grab the two master files in AFPUB format from my website. The address is shown in the description below this video. If you'd like more detail on creating children's books, please see my other videos. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Spread the love. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe.